Now here's my windows looking out into my patio. And right over here, you can see a square thing. That's the game cam that Methan 88 gave me. Let's see what the temperature is. The temperature is, according to that, I don't think you can see it. It's 18 degrees outside. Pretty cold. And very windy. So let's see. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's cold. But here's where, in the distance, and I've shown this on other videos, but there's a little bit of woods over there in the inlet. And from here, you can hear the, you can hear the lake. I don't know if that's been picked up on the camera until I go play this back, but it's like a roaring noise, which a lot of people would mistake as the wind, and it's actually the water. But it's, it's pretty windy. Um, not as windy as it was yesterday, I'll say. Oh, there's a good gust. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> but yeah, surprisingly, even though there's people living everywhere, I get deer, raccoons, skunks, possums, fox. I've had a pheasant down here before, uh, coyotes. So, and there was at one time, there was even a bear running around down here. Um, a black bear. I didn't get to see him, but uh, it was reported that he had, uh, he was down here wandering around. All right, I'm gonna close the window because man, it's cold. Baby, it's cold outside. Here's my raccoon who comes quite frequently. My son wants him for a hat. A friend from work just wants to snuggle him. But there he is. This is a, an old blanket that my mother made. And I can't tell you how, how long I've had it. A long, long time. I think I've had it maybe since I was maybe 20. And uh, she made all of us blankets and scarves. And now she doesn't remember how to anymore. So I decided that I was going to try to carry on tradition and uh, learn how to make blankets. Now my mother was doing granny squares. So I spent two days watching videos. And let me turn the camera around here. Two days watching videos about granny squares. And realized that basically everybody that does granny squares does them differently. So I was confused as heck. And uh, I made so many and messed them up, tore them apart, restarted, tore them apart. And uh, the one day off that I had, I'm telling you, I spent 10 hours of my day off doing nothing but trying to learn how to do the granny square. Um, you have to pay attention. <laughs> that might sound kind of weird, but I thought that I would get my hands to the point where I could do it quickly and not really have to look. Not so. I got so distracted by TV, I would look back down, forget where I was at, and I would do the wrong number of cables, whatever they're called, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I finally kind of figured it out and I've made a couple of them and they're all different because once again, while I was making them, I made mistakes and I thought I was doing okay and went ahead and finished them. And then as I'm lining them all up, I can see they're not quite the same. But anyway, here's a, uh, the project area, once again, that's a bag of fatwood sitting there. And uh, fatwood shavings that go in here. Because uh, one of the things I do in the wintertime, of course, is make my uh, fire starters. Uh, there's my Chi Chi. She is not camera shy. She follows me everywhere I go. When I'm home on my days off, she can't get enough of me. She constantly, wherever I go, she goes. She's just constantly with me. So here's the, the, what do I want to call this, uh, craft emporium where I sit and watch TV and then, you know, work on my crafts. So I've shown this many times before. Okay, so here's the granny squares that I've been working on. They look pretty good, but, I mean, individually they look pretty good. But then last night when I started compressing, oh, look at this one. This one's really big. How did that happen? 
And then, uh, then this one's kind of good sized. They look close, but trust me, when I held them and I laid them all out next to each other, they're not quite the same. Maybe one's stretched out more than the other. I'm not sure. But I guess the way it goes is after you get a whole bunch of these, then you crochet them together, you know, and you make a blanket. Um, like, for instance, because this is pink, maybe I would crochet them, attach them to each other with white. I, I don't know. But I have a bunch of yarn. Let's see. Over there in the corner is my bin. It's got, I don't know. Some small little balls that might make a square or two. And then there's a couple of bigger balls that might make a square or two. But that, I thought that's how I could use it was to crochet these squares. So they're going to be funny looking blankets, I guess, because they won't all match because I don't have all the same yarn. But that's, um, that's that project I'm working on. And then I got to work on the drums. So I'll show you how far I've gotten with that. So I managed to get the hide cut up in the circles the way I wanted and of course there are several different sizes and uh, I think I said this before what I'm trying to do is uh, in my um, progression of making the drum this um, these other scrap pieces here I have to cut into uh, ropes strings lashings whatever you want to call them um, and and then when it's time to fashion it all together again I'll re-wet this stuff which will make it rubbery or pliable again and I'll be able to stretch these over the hoop of wood and tie them with the lashings.